Welcome to News in Brief from Marjayat Global Network. <laughs> Daily meetings of the Grand Ayatollah Shubazi. The Grand Shia Islamic Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadak Shubazi holds in person meetings with large numbers of people, including religious scholars, university figures, and social and cultural activists, as well as public groups of people on a daily basis. In these meetings, the attendees report on their activities, explain their views, and listen to the guidelines and advices of the Grand Jurist. A group of Iraqi students meet Gwanda Ayatollah Shubazi. Some members of Basra University Voluntary Activities Association visited the central office of the Gwanda Ayatollah Shubazi in Holycom last week and met with his eminence. In this meeting, the Gwan jurors counted hard work, purity action, and good morals as the main elements of success in this world and the next. Further, the Iraqi students were joined by Sayyid Hussein Shubazi and listened to his lecture. Iraqi pilgrims continue to visit central office of Grand Ayatollah Shubazi. Over the past few days, a new group of Shia pilgrims from Iraq settled in the central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shubazi in Holycom and met with the Grand Jurist in person. The Iraqi pilgrims listened to the advices and guidelines of the Grand Jurist in these meetings. Said Hussein Shubazi, the Grand Jurist son, also joined these Iraqi pilgrims and made a speech to them. Delegations of Rasul Alam Center meet Consul General of Iraq's Embassy in UK. Dr. Abdul Hamid, the Consul General of Iraq's Embassy in London, hosted some delegations from Rasul Alam Center affiliated to the office of the Gwanda Ayatollah Shubazi last week. In this meeting, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Al Ha'ari, at the head of these delegations, appreciated the Iraqi Consulate in London for its numerous services to the Iraqi nationals and the pilgrims of the sacred sites in Iraq. Further, Rasul Adam delegates honored the works of the Iraqi Consulate to facilitate and support the religious pilgrims during Arba'in pilgrimage. In the end, Sheikh Ari honored the works of Dr. Abdul Hamid by handing him over an appreciation plaque. Zainab Seminary in Damascus hosts 14th summer courses for women. The Islamic Seminary of Zainabia, the women's department, organized the 14th round of summer courses for the women in the Syrian capital, Damascus. These courses go by the name of Lady Fatima and included three stages for education, fiqh, beliefs, and morals. Furthermore, there are also courses to memorizing the Holy Quran for the women. These courses begin on 14th of Shawwal, 1438, with more than 140 female students on board. It is expected that these courses will continue until 10th of Dhul Hajjah. 